I'm preparing for a rare celestial event in this international dark skies park. Tonight, the moon is going to be full, but shadowed. What is it shadowed by, and why is this so rare? Let's find out together in this episode all about the lunar eclipse. Have you ever stayed up late enough to witness a full moon transform from this to this to this and back again? If so, you've captured a lunar eclipse. Tonight, or early tomorrow morning, I should say, the moon is going to do just that, and I am in the perfect place to witness it. Copper Break State Park in Texas is a certified international dark skies park. This means that light pollution from cities and towns is almost totally non-existent, which makes for incredible night viewing of the Milky Way and moon. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite and doesn't generate any light of its own. The moon orbits around the Earth, much like the Earth orbits the sun. However, while the Earth takes one year to travel once around the sun, 365 days, the moon completes its orbit around Earth in about one month, 29 and a half days. We can only see the moon because it reflects light from the sun. Which is why if you looked at the moon every night over the course of a few weeks, you'd notice that it looks slightly different every day, appearing to grow and shrink. This is because the sun only lights up half of the moon, the half that faces the sun. The change you observe in the moon's shadow is based on where the moon is and its orbit. We call this cycle of change the phases of the moon. If you want to learn more about the phases of the moon, you can check out this episode. A lunar eclipse can only occur during the full moon phase. This is when the Earth is between the sun and the moon. Think of it like a movie theater. The projector behind you is the sun, and the movie screen is the moon. The light from the projector allows you to see the images on the screen, just like the light from the sun allows you to observe the full surface of the moon facing you. But sometimes during a full moon phase, Earth, the moon, and the sun all line up in such a way that the Earth casts a shadow on the moon. Like if you were to stand up in the theater and ruin a movie with shadow puppets. Don't do that. This Earth shadow puppet, if you will, creates a lunar eclipse. But the Earth is round, so the shadow puppet isn't very creative. There are two types of lunar eclipse, a partial eclipse and a total eclipse. They are what they sound like. During a total lunar eclipse, the Earth's shadow completely or totally covers the moon. No direct light from the sun is reaching the moon. During a partial lunar eclipse, the Earth's shadow is only partially covering the moon. So some direct sunlight is still reaching the moon. If you're still here, liking this video, let us know. and. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. You may be wondering why a lunar eclipse doesn't happen during every full moon. It can be easier to understand if we can conceptualize all of this from a point way out in outer space. The moon's orbit around the Earth is tilted relative to Earth's orbit around the sun. This allows the moon to often pass just above or just below the Earth's shadow. During a lunar eclipse, the moon passes through what's called the penumbra, where the sun's light is only partially obscured. This only slightly darkens the moon from our perspective here on Earth. As the moon continues along its path, it enters what's called the umbra, where all direct light from the sun is blocked, resulting in a total lunar eclipse. From the Earth, the moon will appear to darken and turn a deep red before eventually returning to normal. If all of the light from the sun is blocked, then why does the moon appear to turn red? Because of a phenomenon called scattering, or molecules and particles in the atmosphere changing the direction of light rays. When light from the sun goes by the side of the Earth, it passes through a long and thick layer of Earth's atmosphere. The short wavelength blue and violet are scattered by molecules in the air much more than the other colors of the spectrum. They are higher frequency waves, so they are hitting these scattering particles more frequently. The other wavelengths are disturbed or scattered less, 
so by the time the light has finished its trip to the moon, more of the longer wavelengths, like red, are left over. On the Earth, this same scattering happens at sunset, causing the sun to appear red when it's on the horizon. And clouds can show brilliant reds, pinks, and oranges. You can learn more in this episode. As the eclipse ends, the moon travels out of the umbra and returns to its normal color finally leaving the penumbra, remaining a bright full moon. Overall, the eclipse event only lasts from a few minutes to a few hours, but if you're willing to stay up late, you can witness the moon in rare form. If you want to learn more science, you can check out this video next.